Hello? Uh, yeah, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll call, I'll call you back. One second. Seth, do you have to pay a licensing fee to release a cover song? That is a great question, and it's one that we get asked all the time. I actually ran into Anna Wise Band from Sony Music Publishing in Nashville and asked her if it was okay to release YouTube covers of songs, and she said... Hey, I have I have one of the smartest publishers in the world here. Hi, I didn't know you are on Do you have to pay? Do you have to... Do, can people do covers on YouTube? And like, do they have to? Do they? They, they can't. So they can't monetize them, right? No. Yeah. Like the original writer would be the one monetizing. Them. Yeah. Okay. Anna's like big shot music publisher at Sony, so she just answered that for us. Short answer is no. You do not need to pay a license fee, but you need to get a license, and it's easy. And we're going to tell you how. It used to be super convoluted, but the MMA made it way easier. He does not shy away from the wild exchange. If you like that takedown, make sure to hit the like button. No, not mixed martial arts, but something called the Music Monetization Act, MMA for short. It made your life a whole lot easier if you want to release a cover song. So what do you actually have to do? The first step is going to be understanding the flow of the money. So, ultimately, we're talking about two sides of the equation when it comes to music. First side is the publishing side. This is the intellectual property behind the song. You don't actually hear this part. It's literally information, chords, lyrics, melodies, those kinds of things, really the sheet music. And that's owned by the original writers and or their publishers. The second side is going to be the sound recording side or the master side. This is the actual sound recording of the song. Let me show you what I mean by this. Let's take a look at the song Dancing Queen and some covers that are out there of it. So those are three different versions. Each one of those recordings or covers makes royalties that go to the creator of that independent recording. And there's ultimately one set of writers and publishers who make the money from the publishing half. So that is the flow of money. Now the license you need is for the publishing side to make sure the original writers get paid and credited. The money that you are eligible to make from your cover is all on the sound recording or the master side. Yep. Now step two is going to be to get the right license. You need what is called a mechanical license. Oh yeah, power baby. This ensures the writers and publishers of the song get credited properly and get paid and ensures that you don't get sued. Now, if you're doing a video, like a music video to your cover, you also need a sync license, but this part is super easy. You can rely on YouTube's content ID platform, which gives you the option to mark your video as a cover song. You'll just click that checkbox when you upload in the YouTube process. And when you do that, YouTube alerts the songwriter and publisher that their song is being covered, at which point they can choose whether they want to monetize it or to take it down. Yep. And almost always, they'll choose to monetize it. So probably not a lot to worry about here, unless you make a terrible or offensive version of that song. So the point is, don't, don't do that. that. And now step three is going to be to choose a music distributor. So the music distributor can help you obtain the mechanical license we were just talking about. They pretty much do step two for you. These kinds of places can include CD Baby, DistroKid, TuneCore, there's a lot more, but those are the main ones that we use and we suggest to people. And this is where you actually upload the sound recording and they send it out to Spotify, Amazon, Apple Music, and all of those folks. Yeah, YouTube, you're gonna upload that part separately. It's the video part, and that is where you select cover song in the upload process. Now step four is to register the cover song to earn them royalties. Again, these are the sound recording royalties. You will not be making money on the publishing side. What side am I not making money on? The publishing side. Thank you. So where do you register your song to earn royalties? Your music distributor. The point of this step is to say, 
do step three correctly. Cross your T's and dot your I's because that is the only way you will see any money from your covers. Now, I got a story. Tell me. Back when I was a signed artist, we tried uploading videos with our own songs in them and we ran into this kind of issue. And we were like, what the heck? This is our own music. And this is where I learned a very valuable lesson that if you sign a traditional record deal, the label is the owner of the master, the sound recorder. But for 99.9% .9 of you out there that are watching this, you are totally good to go and make some amazing new covers of your favorite songs. And it's actually a really great strategy to get discovered. Oh, yeah.